everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today is a good day. I got my rest last night. I was so tired coming back from the, it was only an hour ride, but I think that sitting in the, the heat and just sitting in the, in the church and then having another hour ride home, it was just too much. Well, I don't know if you wear a Fitbit or not, but I do wear a Fitbit, even though I've had some terrible luck with Fitbits over the years. This one has seemed to be doing good. Knock on wood. We better knock on some wood. Knock on wood. Yep. It told me that I slept a score of 90, which is very good. They say the higher the number, the better. My highest score ever was 92, I think. Something like that, Something yeah. like that. So I did pretty good. I slept really good. And it's based on how fast I go to sleep and how long I'm in light sleep and deep sleep and REM sleep. All those sleeps that you can be in. But I got a score of 90, so I got a good rest. Then this morning, I was woken up by Jim. He brought my coffee, and I he didn't wake me, but I heard the footsteps, and then I heard something and he had brought the coffee in instead of me going down to get the coffee. And then I said, oh, i got to let my chickens out. And he goes, they're already out. Or he said, even Thunder? He said, yeah, he opened the door for Thunder. And Thunder was able to eat her food because I let her eat before I actually open up the outside door so that the other chickens can come in. And I pick her food up because I don't want them to take her food because they would, they would devour it. And she still has the baby chick food feed. I haven't tried, I, well, I did try the pellets with mm -hmm. her once, but I think she ate just the chick feed. I'm not sure if she ate the pellets or not. I can't remember. But she's out right now with the other hens, but she still sticks around her little coop. She doesn't seem to venture very far. I also have a little video to put in for you on my rutabaga. For those of you that want to see how to gather seed, I'm going to show you that, so let's just go to that little video. The rutabaga is now real nice and dry, so I'm going to start to snip it so I can save some seed. And what I want to do is I want to snip the branch. I'm going to snip, I believe, each little thing. I could snip the whole branch but I'm not going to. You can see some of the seeds are popping out already. There's a black seed there. And there. They're popping out. So they're ready to be harvested. This one, the seeds are all gone from it. It's already popped. Those seeds are somewhere. And this one too. The seeds have popped. Oh, there's some more seeds in there. We'll take them out. These are rutabaga seeds, and this is what you do to collect seeds. Looks like there's several there's of them. There's several of them that have popped. Yep. There's another one just popped on the, ground. on the ground. Maybe it'll grow. Just a little bit and the seeds just fall out. If they're dry. Wow. I'm gonna get rid of the pods. I don't want them in there. See how it pops? Mm -hmm. The side and there's the seeds inside. And hopefully they grow. They win they winter over very well too. They're like they're a root crop, so like potatoes will winter. These will winter, but that's how you would harvest. And you can see all the little black seeds. Those are the, those are the rutabaga seeds. So you can pick it however you like to pick it, whichever is easiest for you. I wonder if they do this by machine or by hand when the companies do it. They probably have a machine, machine of some sort. 
I would think so, because it's I would not want to be a seed sorter. They probably a lot of them don't let them dry on the vine quite as long. They probably pick them earlier. Well, I, tell. I did plant another rutabaga, and it's not doing real good. It's right here. Looks like something's been eating it. As I'm cleaning them, I'm realizing, as I'm cleaning them, I'm realizing they've actually got three sides. So if you, if you open the one side, then you pull the side with the stem, pull the side with the stem and there's more seeds underneath it. Crack it open and there's seeds on that side. Then you take the stem side and there's more inside. As I'm cleaning them, I'm seeing that that's what I'm finding. Definitely would not want to be the person having to do this. No, I would not. Hard. For a living, yeah. this would be hard, tedious. After a while, you get tired of it. Good thing I only have a little bit to do. I'm sure they have machines that do a lot of this stuff. Probably. People who harvest seed have all kinds of machines for automating a lot of a lot of what used to be done by hand. Well, these are the seeds that I got from the pods, and there's still more some that fell out of the pods. And you put them in an envelope, mark it rutabaga. I'm going to mark it rutabaga and then put it in a jar. And the year? And the year. Nicer if you have smaller envelopes, but we don't have any at the time. Mm -hmm. And a bigger jar, which I don't have at the time, but this will fit. And you want to put it in the jar to keep it from moisture, and in the paper to keep it from moisture. I should probably write it on the outside. I'll write it again. So I know this is rutabaga without taking it out. This way you can see. Now I can see it says rutabaga 2023. The rutabaga seed grows a lot like this one lettuce seed that I had gathered. And the lettuce that I thought I planted, I didn't plant lettuce. I planted basil, basil instead. <coughs> Which is good. Basil's very Basil's good. Basil's very good. It's and it's tasty stuff. I don't know if you've ever made pesto. Pesto, yes. Yeah. Pesto. I don't know if I don't know if you've ever made pesto, but basil, fresh basil, makes the best pesto. And if you want to put it on pasta, or I don't know what else you would put pesto on. I don't, I don't know, know about pasta. I use the basil leaves on my meat patties and whatever I'm but having. But you're not. You're just having the the basil leaves. You're yeah. not actually grinding it no, to I'm make a pesto. No, I'm not grinding it to make the pesto. Well, have a great day. I don't have anything more for you, but have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.